So I want to talk a little bit today about artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners do get a very bad rap on the internet, there's no doubt about that. But what does the actual medical literature say? Do they really increase the risk of all sorts of medical problems? The studies are problematic. What the studies tend to look at around artificial sweeteners are all comers, meaning they will ask people how much artificial sweeteners they're consuming and then try to correlate that amount with health issues. I've seen some in regard to strokes, some in regard to the development of diabetes, and some in regard to weight and appetite. The problem with looking at all comers is that you might be capturing the people who use artificial sweeteners, oftentimes in the, in the form of diet sodas, as a means to excuse other bad behavior, so to speak, when it comes to food. You know, I'll have the mega combo with the Diet Coke, please, is not a healthy life to live, and yet, I wonder whether or not that is part of the picture we're seeing when we're simply looking at all comers, how much diet products they consume, and their weights or their health. What would be more valuable is looking at populations of people who are actively trying to either lose weight or keep weight off, and then compare the use of diet sodas in those patients, in those people, to see if it makes a difference. And it does. In fact, without any exceptions that I'm aware of, the use of sugar-free beverages helps with either maintaining a weight loss or leading to weight loss. Personally, I'm a pragmatic man. I like lesser evils much more than aiming people for perfection. And so if the question is, should I have a full strength soda or a sugar uh, free soda, the answer clearly as a lesser evil answer is the sugar free soda. Ultimately the goal is less of both, but if you need to use artificial sweeteners as a means to step away from the fully loaded stuff, I wouldn't be afraid to do so. Again, your goal is the best you can enjoy. And maybe that amount of artificial sweeteners that you need at the beginning will go down with time. But don't feel like you need to stay away from them from a health perspective because the research would not agree that that is an important thing for you to do.